interested to see how United sort of adjust to this one as well and see what they're looking for. Right now, Sharik wants to go straight in towards the cafe here. Not too far, though. Just enough to try and force a little bit of reaction out from the side of Movie Star Riders. But Cruz goes down. He got a little bit too close to Finzi. And Valutan just locked in a battle with Logic's off towards the side. He's going to have to go and try and help out the rest of his team. But he's found a Dante with a bite of grenade on him. He can't pick him up. What timing? Dante keeps himself alive with his own bionade. And now he's sitting inside the bubble. Neptuno used the EMP in the middle of that. Got it incredibly quickly. But United with a tempo nano boost coming out here. Boombox really working well. Immediate nano boost onto Sharik. And Valutage is able to pick up a huge amount of kills off the, the damage that he was able to put out. Uh, yeah, I mean, they actually got their MP real fast, but I don't think they actually got value out of that. Um, they, this is what Movistar is really good at. They're, they fall back, they peel for the team, they got the kills. But United, and the cart has just continued to move. During the entirety of that fight, they weren't able to block the cart there. Now coming out to contest, but United using these ultimates, getting decent value out of them as well. There's a sound barrier, but it only catches on to four players. They're the only ones alive from Overstar. Yeah, and you can see this position being forced by Iyanada. They tried to back away a little bit, and now they're ready to return to the fight. They get the payload across the line, and Logic's had to spend a scant second away from the limousine, and that was enough to grant Iyanada this last stage. Mineral, they're really breezing United off. Here comes the Dragon Blade up top. Unfix absolutely decimated before Boombox could pop off that ultimate. Movistars are falling though, and they're falling thick and fast. Finzi's the only guy up top. He's not even going to be able to get to the payload. He was trying to get the high ground position with the tactical visor, but the rest of his team was nowhere to be seen. Defensive ultimate to engage here, and E United using the nano boost of their own alongside this tactical visor. Swoosh is going to get picked with it. It actually zoned everybody out as well. That's a stunning bite of grenade as well, because Swoosh had a dragon blade ready to go, but he knew as soon as he got hit by that grenade, there was no point. Finzi, some very sharp aim. He's actually made his way over in towards the cafe here. He's got high ground. He's not being contested yet. Sharik was too low to even try and get rid of him anyway. And now the transcendence from Dante to help them sustain. That's a good play by them. Cruz seeing if he can get any value out of this dragon blade into the back, but Swoosh has got one of his. Pairs it up with the end of that transcendence, and it's a really nice, well executed push from obviously our riders. It, it, start, it started with uh, Cruz actually getting picked, and that was the cue for uh, most of the riders to go in. They actually were getting wiped that fight, but then I think they actually didn't contest Finzi, who got the high ground behind them, and that's uh, that. that Great stuff, Mitch. Dragon Blade for Swish here as well. You can actually hear the sound barrier coming down now for E United. So it's interesting that Swish wants to play his Dragon Blade into this. The timing maybe wasn't there. Cruz has one of his own, but two players just fall right into the path of Swish. He takes Valitaja and Cruz out with one fell swoop. It's going to be a little bit more that needs to be done here, but Finzi left alive because he wasn't carved up by Cruz. Can now get back involved in the fight again after a brief breather. And Boomstar, now they're on the roll. Swoosh has been such a clutch player from Overstar Riders this line, absolutely bringing it out when it mattered. All throughout the group stage, performing way above what we've seen in his online performance, and Movistar Riders are thanking him. Tactical visor, but he's taken very low. Quickly has to take cover. Valu Tajra is close, but he can't even find him. The frustration must be getting the better of Bobby Star Riders because Cruz is now compounding that tenfold. He's hitting the pressure points. Swoosh and Finzi drop to his hand. He is having a massive improvement today as he was yesterday. And that's a big part of why Reunited are going to shut the door in and Bobby Star Riders face here. They're going to struggle to get to this payload. It's going to be a desperate move from Dante to get on there with a the transcendence. Swoosh as well with the Dragon Blade there. I'm actually finding a couple of kills. Finzi's managed to use both DPS ultimates there from Bobby Star Riders, and they get into it. E United, only a single player alive, but they've finally broken through this choke point. Absolute knife's edge there. E United just, uh, the fight goes slightly more in their favor, and they've locked out the map. But Movistar Riders, they're still alive and kicking. They do not have a support ultimate, however, and Cruz is nearing a blade here, and they're nearing a Senado ultimate, so I expect United to retake control here. They could get just dashed like waves upon rock if Movistar are not careful, so they're sticking together. They're playing it safe, but eventually they're going to have to fight. They need to come in. Oh, that was Ooh. beautiful! Vinci gets just enough damage on Cruz before he gets the Dragon Blade out, and he's down. He doesn't even get the ultimate refunded. That's big! Valley Tarja now as well needs to step up in his place. Finzi gets on one's boombox there with a Helix rocket. And Valu's sitting around in the back of the payload there. Neptuno, Finzi, Swoosh. Is this a thing? Is this actually happening? Bobby Star Riders in Hollywood. Who would have thought? But they're riding this payload all the way towards the end. The United are forced into stall. It's absolutely going to happen. Of course he's got the primal rage, but they don't even need to use it. That's unbelievable plays from Bobby Star Riders. Fantastic performance from them. E United have got to be. His hook missed Valutage at that time, and Cruz applies a little bit of pressure. Swoosh has got to be careful. Logics actually falls the Tracer 1v1 around the flank area. 
and he dies. The ultimates on these tanks as well. There hasn't been that much generation. Neptune again pressured in the back and a punch to the face and he's down. There's no way he's going to come back from that one. Dante tried desperately to keep alive with a biotic grenade, but no, it's happening. It's inexorable. It's E United pushing straight on through. Valley with a double pulse bump kill. And it was a tanky meatball composition for Movie Star Riders, but much easier to stick a pulse bump to their face and send them back to the pavilion. First map, E United. See here, Boombox just oh. doing Boombox things. Logic had no idea what hit him. He's absolutely <laughs> nutty. He, <laughs> Look who's getting out of dodge. Yeah, he just has these right clicks that he builds up and he seems to just have great timing. I mean, it's not even aim at that point when it's it's the right clicks that he's throwing out. It's like a great awareness of where his opponents are going to be and a timing and prediction. That's a great point. It's actually got nothing to do with aim. A brilliant uh, way to put that. And, I mean, he just has a really good feel for where people are going to be there as well and how to track sort of roots of players. Neptuno going down at the first start of this fight is not really ideal. Cruz has fallen, so Dante still seems completely fine with using those ultimates to be able to get it. And Boombox, as you said, got the ultimate during that fight. He's got the transcendence to try and take hold, and Movistar Riders have got no support ultimates of their own. He killed Kosti and Dante as well. Like, there's oh. like, what is that? Insane! Logic falls before he can even get towards the point, and Boombox just smirks in his general direction and gets about his general business. He's going to have the Transcendence available, trying to give a, a bit of respect to Colsty not to get picked up, but this Transcendence late in the fight is going to be a nail in the coffin for Movistar. Boombox uses it here, but where is he going? He's trying to at least set up with his, with his attackers here. It's almost like that wasn't even necessary. Overtime is looking like it's going to be ticking down very shortly. Logic at least can return to the fight, but only because he died so damn early earlier on. And that's going to be the first round at United. These guys are looking hot to trot. They certainly are. The cohesion between them. So this is the first time that we won't see some kind of mirror matchup. They're going to be playing in slightly different styles. What's the aim with this composition, Mineral? Um, basically, we want to actually fight in, a, in tight quarters where your tanks, you can get value out of your tanks, your bubbles. But you can see United, they're not doing that. They're not doing that dance. They're actually not going top right. They're going main. They're splitting them up. And now you can't actually, Swoosh can't actually absorb all the damage because they're splitting it up. Uh, the composition works if both teams meet and clash in tight space. Potential to change the fight anyway, but Unfix and Boombox at leisure to use these ultimates and stay in control. Valu, oh, he whiffs that one really badly, but he manages to scout out the presence. And Movistar Riders are split. Valu Tadra being up on that high ground means that half of Movistar Riders can't help the point, and Unfix just sends them all packing, oh. bag them up and send them away. They're done. Overtime is going to tick down, and Ian to get a second round, they bring it back. That is sick. Even though Valu whiffs the pulse bomb, he's... But they were quite frustrated, a little bit upset about it. So maybe they haven't quite fully recovered from that one. Maybe confidence is waning a little bit, but they need to bring it back now because it's do or die in this series. It's the best of three, and they're two rounds down on this map. We're heading in towards Sanctum, but Unfixed already opens up well in much the same way he did last round with Finzi going by the wayside. Such crazy poke coming down this corridor. It's absolutely deadly. Just projectiles and bullets flying across your head. And Finzi finds the wrong end of that one. Unfix able to get the better of him, and that gives the position to E United. They're going to be able to turn that into an early capture by the looks of it. Unless Movie Star want to engage, yeah, Colsey going to take the opportunity. I'm glad they do. I'm glad they don't give this away again to E United and sort of potentially let their economy be hampered throughout the entire round. And it works out. A little bit of, you know, impetus jumping on towards the points of momentum to take with them. And they've actually stormed this fight. It's a 4 for 0. And that was terrific. They had, they had to go for that because you don't want them to set up in positions. So Cruz, he was capping the point. That's not a position he wants. The problem is the ultimates are not there for Movistar. They burnt through four of them in that, in that last fight. Or maybe three, actually, if I look at it. But the fact is, Finzi's going to have attack visor, but Mort's going to have a sound barrier, and they're going to have a lot more ultimates on the side of E United in general. This is going to get spicy. They're actually moving up this point, kind of allowing it to be taken. Unfix is going to come up with attack visor now. Swoosh, how long can he block for? He can only chop Sui for a few seconds before he's dealt with. Now up in the air, Colsty just bounces and bounces straight back towards Spawn. E United again. The final stages of the match, they're really turning up the heat, and I don't think Bobby Star Riders can handle it. They're going to get the, have to get the heck out of this sanctum at the moment. Soundberry from Neptuna, but that's just desperation. He may get knocked off if he's not careful. He's forced to skate desperately to stay in here. Logic is low, maybe a stall. Movie Star Riders need to come up with something, but there's no way they can group up as all of them, and that's it. It's an absolute clean sweep. A 3-0, a 2-0 series here for Reunited. That's incredible. These guys are on fire. What an improvement over yesterday. They are looking...